Hey guys, it's Vanna. Welcome back to Strife. In the last part, we headed off to the catacombs, lots of maze crawling, and then we blew up the dude with uh, the spectre. And in this part, we're heading off to the mines. We got a key card in the last part, so that means we can head in. Now, the mines is a bit of an interesting place because uh, this happens. Without letting down your guard, look for deposits of ore. And then on the flip side, you can only remain hidden against these dudes. Any other robots, like that dude over there, they already know that you're a dude. So that means, we've just gotta go for it. Or at least, at least you can, you can try to bolt it. And it doesn't matter if you kill these dudes, cause they're all just, uh... Must mine more ore! Oh! <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, you can hear that they're everywhere, so I don't really know what's going on here. But, uh, our goal is to now get some explosives. Also, these guys are a bit invisible. Who turn on nightmare mode? Nightmare mode doesn't make him invisible, does it? In Doom 64 it did, but that was after this game, so... That, that's not an actual secret. The, the actual secret? A bit later. A fair bit later. Don't worry. I'm a bit worried that these guys have been triggered and just when I come back... Oh. The gold dudes, I don't actually know if there's anything different about them. Man, they got, they got some nice stuff. They got med packs, they got gold, they got med packs. Gold. I'm starting to sense a pattern here. Oh, and I just bought up. I just bought up. And now I'm full on the stuff. Alright. So, the mines is a bit of an interesting area. These poor souls are drones. Their synaptic functions are being jammed by RC implants. We destroy the transmitter, and they're free. He was on to me. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. I like the mine section. I actually think that. Uh, Command says the transmitter is shielded by a force field. So, two birds, one stone, free the drones, and practice with the ore. Man, I really hate these dudes. They're just casually shooting. They'll just casually get you. It's like, come on, man. There's also a dude way down there. And hopefully the, that those explosions were nuke. Also, don't use verticality to your advantage in this game. Because it's probably not going to work. I should have put that switch enough. Die! I am so amazed how how not dying they are. It's, they were close as well. They only need one rocket each. Um, so yeah. Now there's no real like big secrets in the mines, um, but it definitely looks like you, you know you could open some of these doors. Uh, hey, I see you, buddy. I saw ya. Um, I'll just flick that switch up the top because I'm a little afraid that I needed to flick that switch. Oh, I did. Because you see this giant pillar in the middle. Yeah. And then I activated that. I can chump. Except that's how that's how Doom works and it's kind of annoying and I appreciate uh, Duke Nukem 3D. Which by the way is now 20 years old. Congratulations Duke Nukem 3D. You stood the test of time. This guy's all like, are you here to free us? Because I've been good. They took my implant out. I still have to stay down here and wipe up the drool though. Yes, I'm here to free you. Can't help nobody else. Not until you blow up the transmitter. That's why, that's what's behind the force field upstairs. My job is to check on the conveyors to make sure they aren't jammed. Not anymore. Not saved. We're free! I guess. So, uh, man, I can't believe I'm... suggestion is, toss the oil the force field and then blast it. The resulting compression should create a magnetic blanket and turn off the light. Uh... Yeah. Now there's actually three lifts that go to three different parts of the level. And they all just have dude. So yeah. Um do -do -do. What are we doing? Oh You didn't see me. There we go. Why are these guys suddenly taking two hits, man? That's not nice. That's not nice. Apologize. I'm asking everyone to apologize. It's just... Ah. So, so yeah, so there's different areas of this place. 
But I feel like the the objective is kind of in like one particular place, and it's like, yep, all right. Because you go into these side cabins, and I know like it's not a sewer level, but it's on the same light, you know. So I guess we'll go down this one because this is also not the right. Ooh, hello. Dang it. It's kind of annoying is that you take full damage for the way the lifts work. And these guys are invisible too! Why? Why are they invisible as well? I hear the spiders, don't worry. I, I gotcha. I'm really hoping I didn't just set that guy on fire. Yeah, he's cool. Um, yeah. Uh, da 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 I got to say things, otherwise commentary is a little bit boring, but it's a cave and you can't really do anything when you're in a cave. Because caves are not the most fun thing. This is where we need to go. Okay, now this is a bit awkward. Mainly because you're gonna try and pick these up and then some spiders come after you. These things explode. Okay, an example. Okay, as an example. There you go. Now the reason why they give you a bajillion is so that you're not like... I uh, I don't know why, I thought that was a bit of a Duke Nukem 3D thing, because there's a little bit of a corpse in the wall kind of thing going on here. I thought that was a legit thing, but uh... Ooh, it's not. Uh, but don't worry, these things keep coming out of this thing. Uh, yeah, they'll just keep spawning. So don't worry if you screw it up, and in fact, if you want to be slightly pro, I recommend uh, picking up quite a few of them. Now you don't want to go down in here, which is why I went down in here. Take that! Oh, why are you still there? Oh my gosh. The one, the one shot that didn't go directly at him and that somehow was the one. So yeah. But I've been having a good time, uh, just kind of in my free time playing through a lot of my backlog. Um, and we can use this thing, I guess. I know I use this the same as Flamethrower Abra, and it's probably quite overkill. But it's quick, it works. It's kind of effective, except for the fact that I've lost quite a bit of health. I don't have any ammo, that's why. Get down! <laughs> Alright, while we'll wait for him to go down, let's just check out the other part. We've checked out everywhere, haven't we? Except for this. Which just leads to the same room. And he still hasn't gone down. Hold on, maybe the height will be good. Eh! We got another force field, can't really do anything about that. Um, oh, crap. Don't look at the map for too long. I won't be able to tell where they are. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been knocking off games on my backlog. So I've gone through uh, Undertale, which I know everyone's going to want me to say two cents about it, and be like, I really liked it. But I've got nothing new to say about it that everyone else already has. You know what I mean? And I don't want to talk about it really a lot, because I feel like Either you want to hear about it and just hear about it from someone else, or you don't want to hear about it. It's a, it's, it's a little bit polarizing. There's no like in between, uh, and I think you just have to kind of get it. Like you have to get the game, so to speak, like understand it. Um, so is this the force field I'm blowing up? Let's hope it is, because my arm is a bit numb because I just rested on the was keys for a couple of minutes. <laughs> uh, so what we do is we. Chuck it on the ground, near the thing, and then will be a good weapon to use. Rocket. That was very, very unsatisfying. Well, inside, flick a switch. And voila, is a computer that we can blow up. There we go. Knows that we got some stealth and 
stamina and accuracy, and notice that the UI is being drawn 60 times a second on the screen. Now onto the factory. Exit the mine, and you can't miss it. Yeah. So, that was the, the whole purpose of the mines, by the way. Now, I want to say that... Man, because I know that there's a ton of enemies in these side rooms. And in fact, it says it doesn't seem to work. That implies that that's a door, but I'm... I don't know why it didn't open. Interesting. Fortunately, news doesn't spread fast. I just opened fire right at the beginning of the area, so... I didn't really notice anything. Uh, so we're only 10 minutes in. Now, the only problem is, uh, why is this still closed? Why is that still closed? I am a little bit afraid. I mean, that that's how it's done, but I don't really think that was the best course of action. Oh, especially when you back up into it. Oh, nice. So anyway, so we're in the factory. And uh, the factory is quite a few maps. Um, but don't worry, like, when it comes to beating the game, this is basically the last area of the I'm reading the massive neural wave distortions from straight ahead. I think we found it. Yeah. Okay. Now, I believe this is actually where we want to go. So, let's not go here. Alright. Take out this dude before, uh. Wow! You wanna just, like, not tank? Uh, um. So, let's move around a bit, uh, cause. We don't wanna give them level designers a bit of flack for not experiencing their fully 3D environments. Um. So yeah, so let's uh, kind of check it out and see if we can not overrun the part length too long and not make my hard drive look like crap. Ah, uh, dude, I remember checking this place out and going, what the heck is going on here? Ooh. This looks like it could be a... Oh, is that lift? Nice. This is not the best position to attack this dude from. Actually, it worked. Too bad there's like... 15 of the- ah, oh, crap. <laughs> uh, da, 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 don't protect me. Oh! And there goes all my health packs. Alright. Now that we've cleared it- Ah! <sighs> Get out! Get down, Mr. Preston! Let's see if we can take out the really kind of obnoxiously placed ones, like this dude over here. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Taking him down, one at a time. Do I have any of this? We could try it. That was good. That was solid. Ugh. The, the bounce was not as high as I was anticipating it. This thing does a lot of damage if it's actually used properly like that. You can- I actually think this will be a good thing if you can get them, uh, when they're down like that, you know? Uh, I don't think there's any other dudes hanging around here, although you can hear them in the walls. Because, yeah, this area keeps going. That's a- that's a... Yeah. <laughs> that's- that's a water thing. Uh, we don't need the fancy one, we just need... Uh, flank Because these guys are a bit weak, so I- Flame for our... ah. Oh, there's a dude. Can't take him up close, you gotta get him from a distance. Still gets hit from somewhere. Yeah. 
no one in there. Oh, there's, there's one dude hanging out. Uh, can't go back. And I don't think that was even an open door. Getting some health. Don't you worry, kids. Don't you worry. I got this. Oh. Bob it. Ah. Oh, I fell. Like a chump. There are a couple dudes in there. Let's see if we can, uh. We got 80 accuracy, man. We don't need no stinking aiming properly. We got this. Keep trying to flamethrower with us. Can't handle it. This is a bit of a Let them rain from the heavens! And then burn them. But don't hit the explosive things right behind it. I'm gonna pick them up. Alright. Here's the Super Smash Brothers room. <laughs> By the way, this this is, I think is kind of optional. You don't really have to go here. Wow, he's got the aim of an angel. Oh no, buddy! Put it back in! Put it back in! Don't die on me! That looks a bit phallic. Well, not phallic. Phallic is when it actually looks like it. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> uh... So you may be going... Mines. And that's right. We just found... Out this door, I guess. I feel like this would have been the better way to enter. And I feel like I've screwed myself a little bit because I have to fight my way. We have to go back to the yellow dude at some point, and I feel like I've screwed it up now a little bit. I mean, I still got a save from a bit back from when the split happened. I'd rather not, like, you know, redo it. And we're back out here. So the big question is, how do you get in this door? I actually really want to know. How do you get in? There's got to be a key. Or a switch. No, not a key. We're past keys in this game. There's no keys. Alright. Looks like it's just there to get me out of the water. Let's check it out. Yeah. It's just, it's just there. For the water. Um. Got a great aim. And an even bigger wallet for some reason. Just use all the small ones, they keep giving them. Um we'll keep going, we'll keep going. I know I'm at 80 minutes. Jerk level designers. You just wanted to do that just for the sake of it. Um, now we're going to the conversion chapel. Actually, we'll save this for next part because I want to check out the the uh, other cool stuff. So for now, I guess we're just kind of hanging out here. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. I guess. Bye bye.